The Wyoming Game and Fish Department continues to closely monitor bighorn sheep in the Devil's Canyon herd unit near Lovell. Following a disease outbreak reported back in October that has resulted in the loss of 45 bighorn sheep. Corey Class, Wildlife Management Coordinator for the Game and Fish in the Cody region, says the majority of deaths occurred in ewes and lambs from a bacteria called Manheimia hemolytica. Manheimia hemolytica was present in the herd already, but this is a different strain, a more virulent strain, I guess, more pathogenic strain. The source of the infection is unknown. Game and Fish was first alerted of the mortalities by a report from a landowner and a mortality signal from a GPS collared bighorn sheep in the herd. Currently, 24 bighorn sheep in this herd are fitted with GPS tracking collars to monitor distribution, habitat use, seasonal movement, and annual recruitment and survival rates. The size of the herd is estimated at around 250 to 300 animals something that can be sustained if the number of mortalities is limited. That population was also on the upper end of its population management objective. So we were starting to incorporate some ewe harvest there. So this hit, while certainly is something we did not want to see in this mortality, something we did not want for the herd, it's something the herd can sustain if this is all that happens. The Devil's Canyon Bighorn Sheep Herd, Hunt Area 12, is located in the northwest portion of the Bighorn Mountains. In terms of what game and fish can do to reduce the potential for a reoccurrence of outbreak, about the only tools available is to step up monitoring of the herd, that means additional collars for some sheep, removing any future bighorn sheep carcasses quickly, and a proposal to remove the lamb ewe season for 2023. An additional disease sampling effort will be conducted as well this winter. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.